What's up? What's up? It's your girl Marge's fam. Man, I have been trying to get a skincare video for so damn long. Um, and I went back so many times back and forth. Like, should I do like a video of all moisturizers, a video of all cleansers? Should I do my AM and PM? Should I do high end versus drugstore? Should I do like, blech, like so many damn things? And so finally, I just decided I'm going to do two videos. I'm going to do one AM. 1 p.m. and I'm just gonna put my products on and show you how I use them so let's just get into this skirt <laughs> before we begin I want to say that skincare is so personal it's skin tone it's skin type it's age it's gender it's your diet your lifestyle the climate you live in the pollution in your air your ethics your budget it's everything so if you see something in this video that you like, please research it, research it, and then re-research your research, okay? Please, because I'm not a skincare expert. I have researched and found products that I like and that work for me, but be a smart consumer. Use your head for more than a hat rack, okay? And go out and research these things. I'm going to list a bunch of people down below that I love of all skin tones, skin types, ages, genders, so that you can kind of see some other people that I really like and trust their opinion and see what videos they have and what they have to say about certain products. Also, above anything, please consult a doctor, okay? Please, please, please consult your doctor. Doctors are going to be able to treat and diagnose real skin issues and problems. And you know what? Even if you can't go see one of them, go see an esthetician. Estheticians are great because doctors kind of are like, okay, what's the problem? Found it. Okay, how do we deal with it? This way, done. Where an esthetician kind of helps you to care for your skin long term, what products you should be using, what products um, are good for your type of skin. So both are really great. Please go see a professional. I am in no way, shape, or form a licensed professional or a doctor, okay? It's not Margius Fab MD up in here, all right? Okay, so I have showered, I have no makeup on, and I did my face washing before I did this. So the face wash that I love to use in the morning and kind of just, you know, I like to use it at night too. I'm not, I'm gonna be honest, is the CeraVe Ultra Hydrate or just hydrating facial cleanser. This is for normal to dry skin. They do have a normal to oily skin one, but I prefer this one better. That one says foaming, and whenever I see something that says foaming, I get a little worried because usually stuff that's foaming has drying alcohols in it that make it that foam, and I'm like, skirt, don't want that. Um, this cleanses, hydrates, helps restore skin's protective barrier. It has three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. This is non-comedogenic so it won't clog your pores it's fragrance free yes has hyaluronic acid yes it's non-drying non-irritating gentle on the skin yes 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 um and it actually has this it's called mev delivery technology and i heard this is like their patented technology where at time releases hyaluronic acid throughout the day so i mean just like this is amazing um I love that it's in this big, giant, like, value size. I love that it has a pump. This is really, like, watery feeling. But then as you massage it into the skin, it gets a little bit oily. And then you, like, start to panic a little. And you're like, Haha, what did I do? Because I have oily skin. I don't like this. But it actually is not. It's super, super gentle. When it washes off, my, my skin doesn't feel tight right now or dry. It feels so nice. And on the opposite end, it doesn't feel oily or sticky or greasy it's oh, it's so so nice and this is not to discard other cleansers that i love there's high-end cleansers that i love there's other cleansers at the drugstore that i absolutely love but this one like i mean this one's kind of winning this one's kind of winning right now i i love it and then it is also certified by the national eczema association so any kind of sensitive skin dry skin normal skin oily skin anybody can use this and for me personally i do think that cleansers are an area that you can totally save your money um like I said, there's client cleansers that I absolutely love and adore, but when you have a product that's this freaking good and it's the price it is, it's like, I just can't stop. This is amazing. And CeraVe as a brand, honestly, is probably the best skincare that you are going to find at a cheap price point because um, the ingredients are just so good and they're formulated so well and they have something for everybody and I... 
I love you. All right, now I got the I got the sleeves rolled up now. Okay, so first off, I really like to go in with a vitamin C serum. This is actually a vitamin C and niacinamide serum. I also think there's hyaluronic acid in it. I'm not 100% sure, but I've been really loving this. And this is the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. Because it is um, vitamin C, I like that it's in a light, tight, airtight packaging because vitamin C is very sensitive. And if you buy vitamin C, use it, use it, use it. Don't wait and like use a little bit here and there. Use it up because it tends to turn very quickly. And you can notice too, it'll start to get like almost like dark brown dark orange that's when you know it's turned and it's really nothing more than a nice moisturizer to be honest so I take usually I like to work in sections so I'll work on the bottom half of my face and then I'll do a little bit more on my forehead I just take one full pump of this looks like that and I rub it and then I just rub it into the skin kind of avoiding the eye area and then I'll put the residue on the top of the forehead and then I will just add just a smidgen more, just a beep beep the size amount, all over my skin. And then after I've kind of like massaged it in, I will just lightly press everything in. I really just like to work the skincare into the skin, very lightly pressing and pushing upward. And I like this because it gives a really beautiful, just kind of like wakes the skin up. Oh, love it. Moving on to my other serum that I love, which is the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so good. Um... This is a hyaluronic acid 2% and B5. It is a ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. Out of all the ones that I looked at, like the Inky List and Good Molecules, which are all like this $6 price range, this has the most hyaluronic acid in it and the most hyaluronic acid up on the ingredient list. So the way products work is that they don't actually tell you what percent of product is in the thing, but they list it in how much product of each so I don't know if it says it on the back of this one it probably says it on its box but um usually you'll see like a water or a oil first and then like I like with the good molecules one for example I saw like four ingredients before I saw like sodium hyaluronate or whatever it is like hyaluronic acid this hyaluronic acid was like first or second and then there was like four other hyaluronic acids in there so i just felt like this one was way 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 better for your skin i i just i love this it's ultra hydrating lightweight goes great you can mix it in with other things if you want to add it to like an oil or if you want to add it to like a moisturizer or another serum create a little cocktail um i'm all about it it's so nice it's so affordable and this was only like i'm getting down to the wire y'all i'm not gonna lie and this was only like six dollars but i found that sephora actually has it um in a double size for double the price and i'm like um yeah because that's only a 30 mil like one ounce but they have it in a two ounce and that makes mama very happy so again i'm just pressing this lightly into the skin it does look and feel like a serum when it comes out but then when you start to rub it in it kind of feels watery and then it starts to get really sticky so you have to work quickly um and if you don't like sticky products on the skin you might not like this but i think for me personally it has more skincare benefits in it than other products. So other products might feel nicer, but this one actually works. So I don't really care about the stickiness. I go on with a moisturizer anyway, so to me, I don't really care. Um, and this just gives your skin a nice big old drink of water. Okay, now it's time to moisturize. Um, the, I think the CeraVe was like 15 bucks for the whole thing. This is pricey. This was like $64. This inexpensive six bucks now we're going back to a pricey product this is the proteiny polypeptide cream from drunk elephants i have used a lot of peptide serums and things in the past and they just didn't really do anything for me peptides are really really good for um wrinkle reduction 
um, they're honestly better than collagen because collagen's such a big molecule. You have to have so much collagen to really see a difference. And I swear, I swear to you guys, I had this like tiny wrinkle on my forehead and it diminished. I really think it's this. I really do. This cream, they say it's a facial moisturizer, but I have seen people say they use it in the serum stage. Um, some people say this is only meant for people with mature skin. I don't know. If you have mature skin, uh, let me know down below if you've used this and you've seen a difference. Nine signal peptides, pygmy water lily. I think there's amino acids in here. This is like, I think Stephanie Nicole, she called this the protein shake for your face because it's just chocked full of proteins and growth and growth and growth and growth and plump and plump and plump. I like this. All their packaging is airtight and light tight, which I love. I just give a little pump to the top like that. And then I pick it up. It's like a gel cream formula. But you will be able to feel, like, even though it is a very lightweight moisturizer, at least in my opinion, for my oily skin BS that I have, um, I do notice that this has a super luxurious feel to it. Like, when you feel this moisturizer, you just go, oh, yeah, like, it feels luxury. It feels like silk. It's so incredibly, like, creamy and plush on the skin. Ugh, it's so nice. So, again, I just work in small amounts, in small areas, kind of spreading it around, and then I'll go in and press it in like I did with the other ones. Really make sure to get up on my forehead because I find that my forehead gets a little dry sometimes. I've sometimes been thinking lately that I have like combo skin where like my T-zone gets super oily but like the rest of my face <laughs> is dry like on the outskirts. And then I do like to put some of this on my neck. I know I have a small fat neck but listen I gotta keep it looking young and then I do put some on like my chest you could say, and my decollete area and then I do put a little bit on the backs of my hands as well because hands and neck are some of the first things to really show age and look old and I know some of you out there might be rolling your eyes as I say but listen preventative people okay one word preventative okay next up is kind of another pricier product this is the belief true cream moisture balm they do have an aqua balm but that one had like fragrance in it or draw it had something that i was kind of like mm, mm -mm. so i ended up getting this it has comfrey leaf napier's moisture formula napier's original formula um this is a korean skincare brand it's supposed to like kind of mix like herbs and s stuff with like modern technology type of a thing and at least in my opinion this is very moisturizing so if you have dry skin you will absolutely love this um i use this more as like an eye cream i know they do have an eye cream but i just use a very small amount and i rub it between my two ring fingers because those are your lightest fingers and i just lightly start to tap underneath my eye area and even though i'm dragging it down as i move i'm picking up my finger and placing it down and then pressing upward as i move and i'll kind of bring it up on the temple whatever residue i have i just use a very small amount to just really keep the under eye area super hydrated super moisturized because the skin under there is so sensitive and it tends to go first you know you tend to get a lot of wrinkles there first um, before you get them anywhere else so and I do like having this in my arsenal because if I do let's say go on vacation where it's a little bit more of a dry climate or it's cold or it's winter time I do sometimes like having something that's a little bit thicker that I can put on my face so I'll kind of switch it up a little bit and um you know, essentially that is what skincare is. You can use the same exact skincare, but it is important to switch it up. You don't have to always do the same thing every day. Like sometimes I just wash my face at night and put a moisturizer on. Some days I come home and I do the whole shebang, you know, so it just depends. Sometimes I even go to bed, I just wash my face and I don't put anything on. I just let the skin breathe on its own. And then that's important too. So don't be afraid to like leave out steps sometimes or, you know, really like, let you know let your skin kind of tell you what it needs 
right, so next step is the oil-free moisture with sunscreen. This is a broad SPF 35. I believe this is the non-comedogenic one. You always want to use a sunscreen that is an SPF 30 or higher. This is kind of like my everyday, I know I'm going to be home most of the day or inside most of the day with minimal exposure to the sun. This is what I use. If I know that I'm going to be, um, you know, at Disney walking around the parks all day or outside all day or shopping outside all day or just doing yard work or whatever, going to the beach, I will use an SPF 55 or higher. So I do have the, I think it's the Sheer Zinc from Neutrogena SPF 55. Amazing. Very thick. You got to really work it into the skin. You will get a little bit of a white cast, but it's amazing sun protection. This is more of like my every day not going to be out in the sun that much i will say that some people don't like stuff like this like moisturizer sunscreens because they feel like they don't do either one really well um but i haven't had any problems with this and this is lightweight it doesn't clog my pores it doesn't have an intense sunscreen smell it's easy to blend into the skin and i just you know it's easy for travel it's in this nice little pump i just take about a pump and I rub it between my hands and I coat my hands and then I just press it into the skin I press it all over I'll put it on the tips of my ears put it on my lips over my eyelids I work it into the hairline a little bit huh. um, I'll put it on my chest and I do put some on the backs of my hands. I'm going to be staying inside today, so I'm not putting extra on the back of my hands. I'll just put the residual. But I really, really like that. I actually, um, Justin and I, when we went to Denver, um, our Airbnb, they were so cute. They had all these like little toiletries and products that you can use. And this was one of them. And this was a product that I forgot to bring with me. And so I was like, oh, cool. They have like an SPF here. And I used it. And I was like, this is the shit. I was so blown away. Oh my god, this is so good. Love, love, love this. And last but not least, we're in the lip balm stage, the final stage. We're running toward that finish line, baby. Um, I like to make sure that I get my sunscreen on my lips before I put my lip balm on because this lip balm doesn't have SPF in it, but I will share one with you that I use throughout the day. So this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have used this bad boy to the bone, and this is amazing. It smells like marshmallow or cupcake or vanilla frosting it smells so good and honestly this is mine so i just stink my little grubby finger in here <laughs> i try to make sure that i always put this on with clean fingers um but it does come with a little applicator and i just slather this on both day and night And make sure you really get the edges of your lips too because everyone forgets those. And then whatever's left, I just rub on like my elbows or my knees or something. You know, it's just a bomb. This to me is completely transformative. I love it. I know there's people out there that have had issues with it. They don't really like it. But a majority of people love this. And I love it. It's such a creamy, ultra rich, ultra thick, super lush, plush feeling on the lips. But it's not heavy, it's not sticky, it's not goopy, it doesn't gather in your mouth right here. And you get those nasty little spit things. Um, this comes in also like berry, pear, and they do have the lip glowy bombs where like a little squeeze tube. So if that's a little bit better for you. I think, they, I think some people say that the formula is a little bit thinner and lighter than this. I love this. And you know what? I was a complete biatch. And I was like, you know what? This is a lip sleeping mask. It's not a lip balm. It's not your everyday lip balm. It's not, you know, whatever. But when, when I went to Denver, when I looked back on it, I, you know, I have lip products in my bag. I love lip products. I had a bunch of lip products with me. And this was the only thing I used the entire time. This completely saved my lips because the air up there is so dry. I'm used to Florida where it's hot and mucky all damn day but this saved my lips and I'm telling you every time I use this I wake up in the morning and my lips are so incredibly soft I love this I think this is a godsend a complete repurchase I I cannot live without this this is so stinking good However, it is a little bit bulky and it is a little bit big and sometimes you just always don't have the time to like unscrew the cap and dig your finger in and put it on, wipe your finger off and blah blah blah. So I really do love the Nivea um, Smoothness uh, SPF 15 Lip Balm. This is really nice. Um, 
I watched a Jen Loves Reviews video where she did um, a whole series on lip balms, which is actually kind of interesting because lip balms are really hard to get perfect. If they are free of mineral oil or beeswax or lanolin oil, they probably have a fragrance or an aroma, which is a drying alcohol, or they don't have SPF, or they have a lot, like it's more protecting than it is healing. This lip balm is a little bit more protecting than it is healing, um, but I really like it. It has SPF in it. It keeps the lips nice and protected, slightly hydrated, and it's just a nice like everyday lip balm. It's not as intensely moisturizing and thick and juicy and amazing like the Laneige Lip Sleeping Balm is, or Lip Sleeping Mask, I'm sorry. Um, but I like it just for every day. It's easy to slip into my pocket, boom, boom, done. Um, really, really nice. But I must say, this Laneige is giving me plump, super juiciness right now. I love it. That is it, my friends. This is my skincare routine for the morning time. Again, like I said, sometimes I switch it up. And usually, I, if I have the time, I do try to wait a little bit, like about five to ten minutes before I put my makeup on, just so that I do have time to let this kind of sink in and have its little moment. So, yeah, love your skin. Love yourself. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like, if you have questions, if you hated it, you know. <laughs> Actually, don't tell me if you hated it. <laughs> but... I I hope you guys have a great Christmas and I will see you in my next video. Bye!